In this video, we'll give a brief introduction of the processes involved in simulating fluid flows in ENSYS Fluent, an overall idea of the software and the layout. If you already have an overall idea of layout of ENSYS and the basic steps involved, you can proceed to next video. Open Fluent from the left column of modules. We have a new project, let's call it Fluent T0. The first step is design of fluid domain in design modular. Right click geometry. We have three options, we can either import a geometry from local storage or make new geometry in space claim or in design modular. We will use design modular for now. One thing to keep in mind is that we have to draw the fluid domain, not the actual geometry in which fluid is to flow. Overall layout of design modular is obsolete and difficult to use as compared to other design software like Creo and SolidWorks. Select a plane from here. Now, if we want to look straight at the plane, we can use this feature given at top of screen. Selecting the plane, generate a new sketch. Now, to draw in this sketch select sketching from bottom. We have different options to choose from. We will discuss every feature in detail in tutorial of design modular. Right now, let's just draw a rectangle. Left click anywhere on the screen and release it when drawn. Or, just release the click and when the desired shape has been drawn, click it again. Go back to modeling. Use extrude command to extend this 2D sketch into a 3D body. To rotate body in 3D, use middle click of mouse and then drag it. Scroll is used for zooming in or out. Generate the extrusion either by F5 or by using this option. At the top of screen, we have four different options to change selection type between points, edges, faces or the whole body as per requirement. We will use face selection for now. Select one of the faces and right click for further options. Use the second last option for naming the face so that we can use it later for assigning boundary conditions. Give it any name. Don't forget to generate after naming. At least two boundary conditions are needed for solution. One part with one body has been generated. Change the body type from solid to fluid. Now we can move to next step of dividing the body into further smaller volumes on which NS equations will be solved by the computer. There are different options available for controlling the type of mesh one requires. We will discuss each one later. For now, simply generate the mesh. We obtained a perfect structured mesh as our geometry was quite simple. As you can see that there is no tick against the mesh tab in project. This means that the new mesh hasn't been saved and updated. If we close it now, we may have to repeat everything. Right click on mesh and update it. Now we can move on. Don't worry about these options for now and simply press OK. Different features are available which one can use as per their requirement. For now, we will simply put boundary conditions without changing anything and get the results. Each feature will be explained in a separate video. Give any value of velocity for inlet.
Let's just let outlet conditions at zero gauge pressure. Then we initialize the solution which means giving the nodes some value to start the iterations from. We can set them ourselves by standard or go for hybrid initialization. Go to run calculations. Let's choose number of iterations to be 54 now. Because of simplicity of geometry and conditions used, solution converges in no time. Setup and solution have been updated. We can make some contours in this window too, but we'll use post CFD most of the time because it has way more options and is relatively easy to use. Geometry is in wireframe view. We can view features we want from this tree window on the left. At the top of screen, we have different options to manipulate the results. Let's create some contours. Zero gauge pressure at the outlet. What's more fun than contours, is an animation. First, create streamlines from this icon. We can increase the number of seed points. These seed points are from where streamlines will start. As expected, we have low velocity near the walls because of no slip condition. On the same bar is feature available for animations. Choose the streamlines already generated and play it. Creating colors in post CFD is one thing but manipulating them to get meaningful results is what requires practice, effort and theoretical knowledge. We can save the project in any location. That is all for now. Please remember to subscribe so that you can be notified of next tutorials. Please feel free for any suggestions or queries in the comments. Thank you.